So a few years ago, I couldn't have done this being out on a Wednesday afternoon here in nature because I would have sat at my desk and pondering over numbers. And to be fair with you, I really enjoyed what I was doing. But there was still a feeling that I wasn't living up to my full potential. And so I made a very conscious decision to change my careers. And despite making that decision, besides all the thoughts that went into it, I was riddled with doubt. I mean, how can potential employers recognize my strengths? How would they know what I'm capable of doing because I have no experience, I have no prior achievements that I can refer to? And so in today's video, what I want to share with you are three things that you can do to your CV so that you stand out, that you can demonstrate your strengths to new employers and to go from something like this to something like this. So let's go back to the office to see how we do this. So here we are. And the first thing we need to do is focus on transferable skills. Of course, I had many things that I was good at when I was in my finance career. I could read balance sheets, do risk management, but that really doesn't carry any weight in the airline industry. So I had to think about what makes me, me. What makes my skills very applicable to the new industry that I was applying for now. And I settled for two. I was a very organized person and in the checklist culture of an airline that comes in very handy. And the other thing is that over a number of years and in several organizations, I've been a leader. And no matter what seat you occupy in the cockpit, those leadership skills are always highly relevant. The other thing that you have to pay attention to is the jargon that you use. In every industry, we use certain phrases, certain words that very rarely mean anything to people outside that industry. And of course, the new environment, the new industry that you are applying for now, they'll have their own jargon that you may not be familiar with yet. So make sure that you put everything in plain English and you'll be fine. The second thing you need to be aware of is the format of the CV itself. A scientific CV, for example, looks very different from, say, a marketing CV. And that's not to say that you shouldn't put your personal touch on it. You should definitely do that. But if your CV suddenly is completely different from anything that your future employer used to look at, then it can show that you may be a little bit out of touch. So don't do that. Make sure that through the choice of CV template, you demonstrate that you have an understanding of what's coming in their industry, but also then put your personal touch on it. Maybe you can use one or two elements of your previous CV, add it to that, and that makes your CV stand out. The third thing to remember when writing your CV is that you want to make it easy for them to hire you. How do you do that? Well, first of all, humbleness to demonstrate that you know this is a new chapter in your life. Yes, I'm sure you have done great things in your prior career, and I'm sure they've noticed that somewhere as well. But this is about your character rather than your capability. And that goes hand in hand with don't pretend to know something that you don't yet. Bonus tip here that also makes it a lot easier for them to hire you. Remember when I talked about transferable skills? What I did is I put down the transferable skills for myself on a piece of paper. I put a column there to say this is how I achieved them and how I demonstrated them in the past and this is how they apply here in this new industry, in my case, an airline. I didn't send it out, but when I was invited to an interview and we came to the end of an interview, I said to them and I pulled out that piece of paper, hey, this was a lot to take in. I know it's a lot to remember. Here's a summary that I wrote to give you an indication of what I'm capable to do. Thanks very much for your time and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And of course, I'm not sure whether that is the one thing that tipped the decision into my favor but I'm sure that it demonstrated a willingness to go the extra step and that shows humbleness as well. When you get value out of this video so far, then drop me a like, it's highly appreciated. And when your CV incorporates those three elements of transferable skills, awareness of the format and making it easy for them to hire you, 
It will stand out, but I also want to leave you with this. Any employer ever always wants to have answers to those three questions. Where are you coming from? Or in other words, what is your motivation? Why are you here? So why this specific role? What does it mean to you? And the third thing is, what do they get out of it? How can you bring value to the company? And again, when your CV can answer those three questions, it will stand out. Now, let's go back. I'll talk a little bit more about career change here on this channel, how to get ready, how to take action, how to align your life with your purpose. If you want to join in that journey, then subscribe. And if you're already on the journey, then watch the video that's on the screen right now. It'll have a little bit more food for thought. Until next time.